Hello, I'm Rebecca the Maths Lady and in this video for parents I'm going to explain how children develop a number line that they can conjure up in their imagination and which has this structure. And they learn to move left and right on it to see larger and smaller numbers and to zoom in and out so that it counts in different steps. If you don't need this video, here's a link to the next one so you can skip straight ahead. So in early number, children learn numbers just as a list that goes on forever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on, just going on and on with no particular structure. They can organise number cards in order and they may peg them on washing lines and get them in order, but they're not seeing patterns and structures yet. When they start to look at structure, they do it with whole objects. For example, with the number beads, and they can see the 10 and then the 20 and so on. So it might seem like it should be a natural and easy step to shift to this structure of the number line, but it's tricky. And the reason it's tricky is because how many numbers are there on this number line? Well, it turns out there's actually 11 numbers on it. There are 10 spaces and it's 10 difference between the smallest and the largest number if we're counting in ones, but there are 11 numbers on it. And that's a tricky change. Just to illustrate that change a bit more, here's one type of ruler. In this ruler, you can clearly see which centimeter is which. There's the first centimeter, the second, by the time we've got to here, we've got three centimetres. And when we get to 10 centimetres, we've used 10 numbers. But if we look at this ruler, the numbers are now on the lines. 0, 1, 2, 3. And it's a significant change and it's confusing. The numbers have become how many so far numbers. So instead of counting the first centimetre here, we're saying there's no centimetres at the beginning. By the time we get to there, we've got one centimetre. By the time we get to there, we've got two. And these numbers shift to represent the fact that the numbers are telling us how many things we've got so far. And that's what numbers do on scales, on graphs and so on. And it's what they do on the number line. But it's quite new to children at about the age of seven, typically. It's different from the maths they do as young children when objects are whole things. We now have a scale. In technical terms, it's called the difference between discrete number and continuous number. So here's a worksheet for number lines, very simple. All you do is write one number on it and tell children the steps, or you could write two numbers to show the steps. So that first number line is clearly counting in ones and starting at zero, and they need to complete it. We could also do the same number line, giving some numbers in the middle, and they can puzzle it out from there for more practice. You can do that as many times as you like. And then we want to shift into the bigger numbers. We're not going into negative numbers yet. That will come later. So we could say something like 23, 24, still counting in steps of one, and ask them to complete that number line. There's lots of work in this and you can take it at exactly the speed that's right for your child. The next step is to start your number line at zero again and just count in different steps. And to help your child do that, I strongly recommend that you use the counting beads. They can count in groups of five. There's another five, then they can count the next five and see how many they've got so far and write that down. And then they can count another group of five and check how many they've got so far. And they're learning to see this structure at the same time. It's a very powerful way to do it. If you haven't got counting beads, you can download my counting beads worksheet and they can mark on it each group of five or whatever number you're counting in. And this begins to consolidate their work where they're doing additions in two steps instead of in one. So, 
if we were counting in sevens, we'd go zero, seven, and then we'd add the three of the next seven to get to 10, which leaves us with four of the next seven, goes to 14. 10 add four is 14. That's a really important skill to be able to do addition shortcuts in two steps. If you didn't see the video on that, there's a link to it here, it's crucial. And then, still counting in sevens, we'd add six to get to 20, and that leaves one of the next seven to get to 21. So the number line offers plenty of practice of doing that work. And if your child is doing really well, you can shift to the right as well. So we could start at say four and count in steps of five. Final exercise with the number line for this stage is to set it up so it counts in tens. So we would put a zero at this end and a hundred at this end and give your child any number between zero and 100 and ask them to point to where it would be on the number line. So for example, if they said 87, we'd expect them to see that it would be between these two marks. And we'd also expect them to place it closer to 90 than to 80. And of course we can put in all the numbers in tens if that helps. And then we can go on to the numbers to 1000, counting in steps of 100 and ask them to try and position any number to a thousand on that line. And that leads to some really powerful discussions that are helping them to truly develop an accurate understanding of the number line. They're doing all sorts of hard work there, like dividing things into tenths, understanding when something is more or less than a half. It's challenging stuff. So here are the exercises to do with the number line with your child at this stage. Some of them, once your child has got them, they've truly got them. And that's true of understanding the number line, understanding that the numbers mean how many so far. So there are 11 numbers because you need a starting point as well as 10 other numbers on the number line and also positioning numbers on number line. Once they can do that, they can usually do it. But counting in steps is an exercise that can be done every day as part of your maths for a long time. Because when you're counting in steps of different sizes, that's challenging your child to develop their fluency with a wide range of math skills and that's hugely valuable work. There's so much work in this, it's really relevant, really appropriate at this level. As you move on up primary maths, we can count in larger steps, say steps of 23 or something like that. And we can move backwards into the negative numbers. We can count in smaller steps, but I'll be covering all of that in other videos. So in this video, we've explored how children start to develop their understanding of the number line, which is crucial at this stage, and the exercises that you can do with them. This number line worksheet and the bead string worksheet can be downloaded from my Facebook group, which is Expert Primary Maths Teaching. Just click to join and go to the files and you can download those. And they're also available from other sites, which you can find in the links in the description of my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please post them on YouTube below this video so that I can read them and respond. I want to help. Let's nail your child's understanding of maths together so they can become a confident, creative and fluent mathematician and just really enjoy their maths. The next video is all about base 10 apparatus, which is another structure children need to understand at this stage. Hope you'll join me for that soon. In the meantime, please subscribe to Rebecca the Maths Lady and click on the bell so you don't lose track of this channel. And if you could tell your friends about this video, perhaps in social media groups, if you think it'd be useful to them, I'd be really grateful. I've seen too much in life of the kids who didn't get maths at primary school level and the damage that it does to them. And I've just got a passion for making sure every child deeply understands their maths. And if you could join me in that journey, I'd just be delighted and please encourage your friends to join too. Bye for now.